And just when you thought this Queen Anne Cherry Cordial Challenge couldn't get any wackier, along came Coconut. Greetings and welcome back to another fun and adventurous, exciting episode of the vodcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira, the man in black. That's right. Today, as promised, please forgive me. I have I have a lot of snots going on this morning, so I'm trying to fight through that as we power through this. Uh, this morning I was out. I went to go pick up a few more of the Palmer chocolates. I wanted to get the gold coins because they're a classic and you got to go with those if you're going to give them a real shot, a real run for the money. You know what I mean? I also got, I'm sorry, I, I am snots. I am all snots today. They also had coal. I found a white chocolate bar, and I believe there's uh, one more thing in there, crispy thing. So we're going to give it the full spectrum of chocolate, the shit that you always get in your stocking at Christmas, the stuff that's sitting around at parties that really nobody wants because it's not great. And we're going to hope that somewhere in there, Palmer can redeem themselves and make them a chocolate god that they so well, don't really deserve to be, but, you know, maybe they can earn their place. Where do we begin here, though? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have had these two before. This I have never seen before in my life. This was shocking. Point of my story is I went out, I got the Palmer stuff, and I saw this, so I added it to the verses. So now we've got a Cherry Cola versus French Vanilla versus Coconut Queen Anne Challenge. Uh, I don't know what the, where the challenge lies. I'm just going to eat it. There's not much of a risk or challenge in there. So let's start with the cherry cola. Uh, no, let's start with the French vanilla. I feel like these could be the most mild of all three flavors. Uh, cherry cola is a bold flavor. The minute I think of cherry cola, I start thinking of fizziness, and I think of how sharp it is. I remember the first time I had cherry Coke when it came out. Um, and I, I know back in the 50s, you could go and have the syrup, all kinds of different flavors added in, and you'd end up with whatever flavor flavor vanilla coke cherry vanilla coke don't give a fuck you want a blueberry chocolate coke go for it you could do that back in the 50s but now in some places it's still offered but generally speaking you get coke and cherry coke and when cherry coke hit the market for the first time i can't remember the date i'll put it right there um Back in the 80s, I was thrilled and excited, and it was the can, the first time I saw it. Because back in the day, it's not like you could go on Instagram and be like, holy shit, they got coconut cherry cordials. No, you had to stumble across this stuff in the wild or know somebody who worked within the food industry. And, I mean, when you're a kid, you don't give a shit about that. All right, let's take a look at these. We're getting two rows of five. That equals ten. I'm pretty good at math. I'm not really going to smell these. I don't. I can't imagine that there's a... All right, I'll smell them. I'm sorry. You want to smell them? Go ahead, smell them. See? It smells like a cherry cordial. It's a little, a little, a little, a um, little different than a cherry cordial. There's something else there, but it could be that... This is going to be a lot of chocolate. By the way, <clears throat> as a warning, I don't mean to shun anyone or turn anyone off to my wonderful channel here, but... Sugar is terrible and nasty for you, and I try to avoid it at all costs. I'm eating it here today so that you don't have to. Does that mean you're not going to go out and try these on your own? Probably not. But I'm just saying, if you don't want to, I will. And this is a shitload of sugar for me. I haven't eaten anything this morning. This is going to fuck up my stomach, kids. All right, let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> Everything is good about it. Except for whatever they used for their cream, for the French vanilla. I've never been at... The, the juices... The juices within these don't give me a happy mouth feeling. I don't like the liquid... The, the thick viscosity of the liquid in these. This adds a little bit of a grit to it. So now you get the very thick viscosity with a bit of grit to it. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't want it. I'm going to score them as we go. I'll give this a five. It's just average. It's I've tasted things like it before with that texture to it, but I just didn't expect it in a Queen Anne. Let's try the Cherry Cordial. I've had the Cherry Cordial before. I remember them being good, I think, but my memory is not what it used to be. When 47 years old, you get to be look this good, you will not. Maybe you will. I hope you do. I hope when you all reach the ripe old age of 47, I'm going to be 48 in February. If you're looking for something to get me, I will take a 1959 Gibson Les Paul. 
I'll take an R9 reissue. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm not going to be super picky. I don't expect you to dig up a, you know, 70 year old guitar for me, but come on, you can all pull in, you know, if you want to get me original, maybe around two, three hundred thousand. I mean, that's like a house. At that point, just, oh, I got a house. You can give me $50 million. Check out this house. I don't know if it's still available. I'll, I'll put it in the link in the comments if you're into looking at houses. I love looking at houses, cheap houses, tiny houses, big houses, mansions, city houses, houses with thousands of acres, hundreds of acres. I don't think I've ever looked at a house that had thousands. But this house here has 400 acres. I love I love looking at houses. All right, I'm just going to go to town here. I'm, 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 ugh. Looks like they had an accident. I don't want to eat that one. I'm going to eat this one. This one looks unscathed. Once again, sugar's bad for you. I'm doing this for you so that you don't have to. Don't waste your time or money on these, I would say, unless you're into gritty cream in your mouth. Oh, yeah, you like that, don't you, little bitch? Oh, yeah. Let's try this one. Hmm. Oh, drama. I'm literally in the middle of filming, period. I'll get back to you right away. That's my friend Jess. She has a channel, too. I'm a part of that channel. It's called Cryptid Bits with general tidbits. And um, I'll put a card over here if you want to go check out the channel. If you want to see more of this 9 out of 10, you want to get over there because, I mean, pfft. All right, nasty, disgusting, did not like that. Memory does not serve me correctly. It's way sweeter, way sweeter. I didn't get a lot of the Coke taste that I was expecting. I wasn't expecting a lot of it. I expected more of just basically a cherry. It's there, though. It, it, it's notable. I want to I wanna give these a five, but now I'm like, if those are a five... All right, these just got downgraded to a four. This is a four, a five, only because the flavor is a little bit better. This, is, this isn't a bad flavor. You know what? They're both fives. Let's move on to Cocoa Nut before this video gets too long. This was open when I got home. made me a little nervous, but I'm sure everything is fine and dandy inside. You don't have to worry about me or my health. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. I wonder if they would ever consider doing a white chocolate. Like, why not do with the coconut a white chocolate? Wouldn't it just look the part a little bit better? It would sell it way better. I mean, just the packaging alone, when you add these colors in, this time of year, you used to seeing the dark red and then the light red for the milk chocolate and dark chocolate, regular Queen and Cherry Cordials. This, though, there's no, like, the, the only thing to, to really tell you that this isn't a regular Cherry Cordial is these colors. Why not try a white chocolate? What are you hiding from? Who are you? What makes you? Who makes you? What makes you? What's your favorite? All right. Here we go. This isn't worth the calories. I'll be right back. Yikes. Um, I think I'm just going to give them all fives. Honestly, they're very average. This one, the grittiness is just like the French vanilla. Super gritty in the cream. I get it a little bit more with the coconut, but I still wasn't expecting it. The, origin the flavor of this is the most original out of all of them. If you were going to try one, I would say go with the coconut. I'm going to downgrade these to a four. This is a five. Queen Anne, you, you've disappointed me. The king of chocolate knows best. You're out of luck. You're out of town. Get out of here, Queen Anne. Bye, Queen Anne. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Have a nice fall. See you in the spring. Anywho. Somebody will eat those. Uh, if you guys love eating chocolate as much as I love making these videos, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you are today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one of my brothers and sisters dig it. Live life to the fullest and love every moment because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However... Never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. That's super important. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira and this is the podcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>